YouTube, welcome back to Shades Town. I gotta go recover some of my stuff. I actually uh, was going gold nugget farming, and just a stinking little guy took me out. Hopefully, his health is gone enough that I can pop him in two hits, but we'll see. Here it goes. Ha! One hit. Easy enough. And all I had on me really was just the nuggets that I'd started to collect, and then, uh, some basic iron stuff so not a big loss I left the rest of my stuff over in another chest are you gonna be mad at me no sir thank you but for this episode I've done a lot and a lot and a lot of building and so I kinda wanna <laughs> take a break so this episode I wanna show you what I've updated on the uh, blast furnace first I think it looks pretty darn good now I was working on the landscaping and just wasn't quite satisfied with the building. And, uh, hey, nice gas fireball stuck in there. Air. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I was, just wasn't quite satisfied with how it looked, so I've made quite a few changes. Let's show you that first. Come on out, here we are. So, as you can see, there's a few things different. I changed the colors of that one and that one and changed the height. I actually, I think I left that one the same height and made these two taller, if I remember right. And then I added that timer to the water, too, which I think looks pretty cool. And then I changed the way the water falls. Um, it comes down and falls into this trough and then you know goes into the building so kinda cool um, added dirt, I decided to do dirt uh, landscaping um, I don't know just give, kinda acts, ties everything together fills in this area so you you get the width to the building uh, it just feels better um, added the lamps to keep mobs from spawning and whatnot so I think it's looking pretty good actually but the other thing I wanted to do this episode, uh, let's actually go back through the nether, is uh, the reason I was getting gold was to finish the minecart tracks in the wool farm, changing them to the automated power ones. And I, <laughs> I still need like 150 more gold ingots to finish, but I was thinking for this episode I'm gonna build that system I talked about earlier where what are those from? I don't know when I dropped those but uh... the system I talked about earlier where sorry I gotta think um, trying to decide if I need anything else now nah. well did I? no oh, okay sorry <laughs> where it doesn't make you go through the whole um, wool farm if you don't need something at the back of the wool farm. You remember me talking about that? So I kind of want to build that and it, it should be a pretty simple circuit just with maybe a few torches, a bunch of redstone dust, and some repeaters. Uh, and I need rails as well, but I've got plenty of those too. So let me show you. Let's grab some rails. I don't need powered rails. Uh, that should be plenty of rails. Let's grab some redstone, torches, and repeaters. Okay, that should be about everything. And I always get some lag here, and I'm not sure why. Like, that circuit sometimes work, works and sometimes doesn't. It's weird. But, uh, we're going this way. I lost my horse. It's somewhere. Thing jumps five blocks high. I didn't. I knew it jumped four, but I just tried it on five. So I don't want to lose that horse. But don't mind this monstrosity. I got. We got sick of harvesting this uh, wheat field to breed our cows here and uh, for food. So. <laughs> I threw a very quick, I mean I was ready to go to bed and I threw together a real quick chicken 
um, farm so I don't have to work. Wow, that graphic showed it shooting clear over there. Huh. Yeah. Weird. But anyway, so that's just a temporary thing. The other one, I'm the actual one I'm doing is going to look a lot nicer than that. But let me show you here. So right now, let's reset a color. Um, let's pick a color right here. So that color is right here. Now, right now, if you jumped in the mine cart, that's not there. Let's pull one up. Oh, it's that lag. Is this even going to work here? Yeah, that works. It's weird. Some things like, like that works, but then uh, the auto things like pressure plates. See? Those pressure plates are bugged. Stuff like that. So anyways, I'll be right back. Okay. Did that fix it? No, sir. Oh, it looks like it did. Okay. And there's a minecart. Okay, so we hop in the minecart, and it shoots us off. And as you see, we only wanted to go to that wool down there, but it's shooting us clear in the heck around, which is just a waste of time. So I'm going to make that a little more efficient and, and let it cut the corner for where we want to go. I don't need anything, so let's just head back. And I want to change that, so let me show you. how I think I'm going to do it. So I'm going to section it off for each building and if nothing from any of these four are required you'll be able to come down here let's see one two three one two it's right there actually I don't need to dig it though let's put the cart across okay I want this system to automatically uh, turn the track here. Let's see. Throw a torch down and see what happens. Okay, so that goes the opposite of what we want. So we want it to be like that, so that it comes this way and then goes that way. And then this side. to be like that. So we want both of them to be off when nothing's here. So let's dig down a little bit and get some workspace. So let's uh, that guy there and that guy there. So now the logic is if you don't go into that one and you don't go into that one and you don't go into that one and you don't go into that one, we want those two torches to be off. And the simplest way to do that I think would be to run redstone down to those torches like this and then bring it up and let's look at these this logic is going to be a little bit I wouldn't say trick well yeah I guess a little tricky because if you see that one's on and that one's off right there so we're going to have to kind of finagle what we're doing, but let me clear this out so we kind of have some space to see. So we need this to be off, which and that one needs to be on. So let's come in here and switch this to that. Okay, so now we can do our our uh, not gate or NAND gate, excuse me, or something. So now, uh, if none of these are on, we can go that way. So if that is unpowered, it will go straight through. So just run this that way, and unpowered, let's see, that block's unpowered. So that one's done, and let's pull off of this one. Throw 
have some redstone there. Can I move you at all? I can. Let's move you right there. Okay. And now pull that guy down. Okay, so now, as you see, let me get out of here. What colors do we got? We've done these two. So the light blue and the blue. So if neither the light blue or the blue are on, it's going to cut us short. But let's go turn one of those on. Let's pick, let's pick blue, I don't know why. So now that blue's selected, the minecart should come down. And you see, now it won't take you that, oh, we got a problem over there though. So that side doesn't matter, that side we always want off just like that so we don't even need to run stuff to there that's nice okay there you go so now when you come down you go to blue come back out it's gonna take you around and go that way and you're good okay so for these sides we need to do it oh that's easy too we just pull in like that so now when that torch turns on come that way same thing here, but we gotta move that torch again. Let's move it to th there. We can move that torch. Okay, now we're good. Now, uh, what's the best way? Let's just take a ride. So, light blue we know works, or blue. So let's try light blue, purple, and cyan, magenta. Okay, first things first, let's go back and turn them all off. And now it should cut us short. Yep, cut us short and we'll go that way, okay? Now let's try again with that one. Right, that was the color. And now it should take us all the way. Yep. And why did it take us to light blue? <sighs> oh, okay. So we got a bit of a problem. This uh, needs to go one direction because it's uh, since this line is lit, because of that block right there. No. Why is this line lit? Because that one. That one. Yeah. Um, it's going into this and affecting that. So we need to put a one way logic there and also right there. There we go. Now let's see. So now it comes that way. Doesn't go that way doesn't go that way. It does go that way. Okay, we're good. Let's jump back on, head back. Okay. Now, what was the other color? Purple? Let's try that one. all the way down, takes us into purple, and we escape. Okay. That looks good. Be back one sec. I gotta go uh, see what's wrong with the baby. Okay, we have that first one working. Now to do the second one. Let's pull our rails back down. Eat some food. Wow. And let's go for number two. You know, I'm thinking the easiest way to do it would be, let's put our lamp right there. No, nope, that's not going to work.
Um, first off, let's go turn them all off again. And then we can do the logic a little easier. Okay. So now we do the same thing we did here for this set. Let's clear it out a little bit. Just tap that on and off to get that lined up. Okay, and this side. Let's do like that. And let's pull our wire in. Oops, didn't want to do that, but that's okay. Um, that. Wire, okay. Seems backwards. Why does that seem backwards? That is backwards. What's going on here? That goes into there. Oh, that's what's going on. In the world. Off on off. Oh. Okay. So that was the problem. I was missing that rail. Okay. So now we do the same thing. We come back here and we pull off of that one with the repeater. And we come back here and pull off of this one with a repeater. Hi, buddy. So we pull that signal down there. Then we gotta pull off of this, that one, this one right here. And then pull off of that one. Okay, so that logic works for these four. Now the thing we gotta do that we haven't done yet is include the power from this one as well. And I think the easiest way to do that will be just to take the signal through like that. there okay so just pull the signal from there pop a repeater um, the repeater does two things number one obviously it lets the signal strength you know it boosts the signal strength from clear back there the other thing it does is it prevents any of these uh, from triggering the section back here so if you have to go this far if you didn't have the repeater the power could go back this way and it would make you go this far but let's go test it because that one should be built. Yeah, that's a pretty simple setup. Um, the reason I'm doing it is I have farmed so much from these bulk pens right here to make the um, farm over there and then the white right there and the black right there. But every single time I come through, I've had to go to the end and it's just gotten kind of annoying when you're, you know, farming a lot. So. I didn't look at any of those colors. <laughs> Let's go see. Green. Let's do green and red. Eh, let's do green and pink. So if I remember right that I just saw it cut short. So now if we do green. It should take us just, whoops, just to the green one. Let's head on. Whoa, lag. Or not. Okay, takes us to the green one. And we should come out and then it should cut us short again. Yep, cut short there. Okay, that looked good. 
Now let's go back to blue to make sure that logic is working. Uh, let's do light, light blue this time. And now it should take us clear to the end. Yep, clear to the end. Do our light blue. And we head on back. Okay, two down. What, two more to go? That's it? Wow. I think I'm going to need more repeaters. One, two. No, if I only have two more, we're good. So, come in here. Let's pull this signal through. And that signal comes out right there. So let's just throw the repeater right there. What are you doing? Yeah, see, it was. I knew it was a little too easy. Now we got. What is that line? What in the world is that? That's a repeater coming this way. That's on the wrong spot. That's supposed to be right there. Right? No. Oh, I'll bet you there's a yeah, there's a torch coming off of that. And then I'll bet you the torch is coming up in that way. Okay. Well then let's pull this oops. Hopefully that's no, nope. see that's too far. So let's just stick the repeater right here. We're just going to avoid it. And why are you grabbing? I don't want you to grab that. Um, but I do still want that there, so we'll do that. Okay, back on track. Let's lay our track. No pun intended. One, two. Got that. Ah, see, this is this is what I was scared about. All this other line, you know, the signal lines coming in the way. Um, you know, for this one, we just need to tap it on and off. That's all we needed to do there. Right? Yep, okay. This side, cross our fingers. We're good. Oops, <laughs> if I can aim. And it looks like we're going to have to come in from a different angle. So we'll come in from this side. Take our way back. Torch right here, and then our oh, come on, there we go, redstone there. Okay, so now that's going that way. So, this is our signal line. We want to pull from that one with the repeater here, and that one with the repeater here, and then this comes whoa, 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 crap not what we want. Um, problem being this block obviously has a torch going in there. So how do we avoid that? We can do that. And if that block's lit should like that and come this way, okay. I think we're gonna have another problem in a minute, but let's uh, worry about that in a minute. Okay, so we gotta get this line. I'm gonna cut it off first. We gotta get this line over to 
there without lighting up. Well, you know what? We can just go like that. No, we can't because that. Hmm. I just broke something. What did I break? <laughs> I'm going to have to debug this when I'm done. I'm, I'm concerned. Okay. So that brings that line over. Which ultimately should turn that straight. Yep. And if we break that line from back there, it should cut short. Okay. And then those two, that one should be good, powering over that one. Oh, it should. I, I hope it picks up from this block and goes there. It should. Does it? Let's do a test. Let's, uh, how can we test that? Um, let's get out of our holes so I can think without worrying about messing stuff up. So if we go like that, and there's a torch under here that lights that up, and we have a block here with a redstone, this will light up, but will it stay lit up if I stick that with redstone? Yep. Okay. That's what I needed to know. Okay. So now, <laughs> for the tricky part. This, we'll do that. Uh, this signal coming out of there and going that way is for uh, that turn right there. So when that turns, turn turns on, it'll light up this line. And then the other one, which is right here, is simple, just like before. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's reconnect this wire and let's test everything again. Uh, how do I want to get out of here? Let's just click this for now. Okay, so the colors all want to test. All right, we already know it works by sending the power through, so we want to check the new ones. Yellow and brown. Let's check both yellow and brown. And it should just take us far enough to get yellow. Here's yellow. It's a little lag. And then it should cut us short. Yep. Good, good. Okay, so now it should take us all the way up to do brown. Yep. It should take us all the way down to purple. Whoa, you see that? Creeper. I've destroyed all my torches now. <laughs> Mobs are spawning. That's that was kind of scary. Don't want them to blow up all our logic we just did. Okay. We're good. That one's already done. Those four. Let's throw our track right. One, two, right there. Let's uh. Load this one. Okay. And then this one is not gonna be fun. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Uh, do we just want to bring that down? Yeah, let's just bring this down, can we? Looks like it so far. Is that far enough? Yes, yeah, so that's plenty far. So that down, we can build out our dirt, and we need dirt right there. And that should be good enough to at least see where we're at. Okay, <laughs> why am I 
I'm scared to dig up anywhere. Yeah, see, I knew I was under that. Okay. Um, let's put our torch right there. I need a way to turn that torch off without messing up all that other stuff. And if we put that there... And... I think that'll work. If we go there... Here, I gotta dig down for a minute. Put that there, put that there, and get stuck. Place that. <laughs> wow. Dig out. Let's go back here. I need to replace that to disconnect those two wires. And there we go. So now we're not powering that torch. What's going on there? Why are you lit up? There you go. Just needed the block to update. Found a bud switch on accident. <laughs> okay. So let's dig back to these. Let's see what we're looking at. Seems backwards. Why is that? No, that's right. Go there. Should pull off. Okay, so that one needs to go down. And let's bring this one down the middle. Hopefully. We don't interfere with other wiring again. And I need to wire it to here. Let's go like that. Why does that seem... Oh! Because I need a repeater. And then that traditionally went up into a block like this. Okay, that's why it seemed weird. Okay. That one should be done. Let's dig over to this one. See how we're looking. <sighs> Definitely more difficult, these last couple. Temporarily do that. Place a repeater. Take that guy out. Put our block. And these should just be able to straight shop connect right through. Okay, those two should be good. White should be able to just come right off a torch behind here. Good, good, good. And then come back here. Gray should be a torch right there. Okay. So now we just got to pull the signal from back there. And we can do that off of this right here. Um, where is that signal going to? It's going to right there. And I think it kind of needs to, to stay like that. So let's put our repeater there. And pull it off of this. Okay, so you need to get over to that line right there. And you can do it just like this. Okay, that should be everything. Let's hop out, check our logic.
Okay, it looks like everything's working well. Let me show you one last time in normal speed. Say we select those two colors, so it'll only route us to that one and that one, and it'll select the quickest path. So you go, and it takes us to the black, and then it'll take us up to the gray, but only as far as we need to go to get to that gray. Let's do one more. Let's pick red and green, lime green. Okay, so jump in and it routes us. I think the lime green is closest, yep. So here's that. Jump back out and then it's gonna take us up, cut us over, so it's gonna cut that much off because the red is right there head back so we're looking good grass is growing in can't really tell I even did much so I'm pleased and I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always happy building